All right, welcome back, everybody, to the Political Machine 2008. As Charles Dick Sucker runs for president, right now we're campaigning in um, Texas. So let's look at our points. We don't have enough points for political capital yet to hire any operatives. Operatives will do lots of things I can tell you about later, or to win any endorsements. So I guess that's just the end of our turn. Let's see. I think we're going to fly to... Hmm, we need a good state to fly to. Ooh, who's this guy? Kook, when he's not making documentaries or writing books. Oh, he modifies the opponent's political score on all issues by 14% in the target state. Oh, that's a fancy... He's got a nice outreach center. I want an outreach center. So let's put one of those up in Illinois. Oh, wait, no, I don't want one of those. I want a consulting one. Because I want more political capital so I can hire more um, operatives. And I'm not as well known. Oh, let's see... Uh, polling data. Ooh, the, the red states are obviously the states I am favored in currently, and the blue ones are him, and I guess purple are toss-up. So it's early on yet, but that's pretty good that I'm doing good in some liberal strongholds. I guess it's my populist message of improving the job and guns for babies. It's the dick-sucking way. Um, okay, so let's raise some more funds. I know a lot of this game's raising funds. <laughs> How exciting. Oops, that's not what I want. Oh, we're getting closer to winning an endorsement or hiring people. I guess we'll just mo do more fundraising while we wait. That'll be the end of this turn! Ooh, let's go to West Virginia and find out what's there. JD Consultant! A JD Consultant has joined Charles Dick Sucker for President Team! One would ask why the candidate would want the assistance of such a person. The JD Consultant takes away 10% of all rankings in the state. Oh, that's not good! But Charles Dicksucker insults, I think the JD Consultant could prove useful once he deals with his issues? Most experts are highly skeptical. I should not have gone to that. The JD Consultant stays in the state you found him, so that just hurt me in West Virginia. I don't know, Barack Obama got the Environmentalist Club to back him. So I guess we're gonna, after that mistake, fly back to Illinois, raise some more funds, give me money. I want to upgrade... Oh, let's give me some more money. Give me money! And we're going to upgrade our consulting offense. And there we go. Let's see how we're doing. It's early on yet. It's very early on. But let's see what the polling data says about us. Oh, that's not good. Polling data has gone against us. Thank you, Jaded Consultant, you asshole. <laughs> we should murder him. <laughs> Is it wrong to murder people when you're running for president? All right, we'll go back to the awareness one and find out where we're not known. Oh, that's most of the country, sadly. So we're done, I guess. Sorry, just looking for movie cameras. Oh, he's won the... National Union. Oh, the unions are backing him now. I need some special interest. Oh, I can win an endorsement now. I'm going to go with the National Taxpayers Federation. I want their endorsement because it's, um, it's, I'm anti-big government and I'm pro-tax cuts. Yes. Yay! I've won their... Don't ask me what I had to do to win their endorsement, but I won it. And you can hire operatives. Operatives do a bunch of different things. So let's look at the... Um, speechwriter. A speechwriter. He will increase my charisma by 10 points. Because, wow, he looks good. I'm going to write you a speech about moping. Alright, you're hired, dude. Speechwriter ensures that... Charles Dicksucker is getting the proper message across to voters everywhere. Tell them about babies and guns. So now I'm not really sure what to do. Obviously, 
Let's see, can I look at national polls? Oh, I can. Obama is ahead of me, apparently, on a lot of these issues. Except for gun control, but... I don't think a war is ever... Or, uh... Oh, man, according to electoral votes now, he's way ahead of me. In the early polling. So let's raise some more funds. Sorry for the boring fundraising. I'm just going to blast through this a second. Alright, so that's the end of the turn. Obama gives a speech in Rhode Island. Good for him. Heated race takes early toll on dick sucker. Aww. Quick to succumb, succumb uh, to the heat of battle. Polls show Charles Dicksucker has slipped behind Barack Obama in his first leg of the presidential race. Don't rule him out so quickly, one rule expert <laughs> noted. With the Dick Sucker campaign just getting started, it's too early to predict a winner. This optimism was ignored at the Bo Obama camp, where staff members were thrilled by the early results. I think he should just throw in the towel, one Obama volunteer joked. I mean, once you have a lead like ours, it'll be hard to catch up. Well, they should never count on a dick sucker. Alright, so we'll just blast through some more. Illinois still likes dick sucker, apparently. Probably should have gone to a different state to raise money. There we go. All the money. Now we're going to upgrade it, and then we're going to fly to Idaho, because there's a question mark. Hopefully it won't be another jaded consultant. Defina, this cowboy makes sure the candidate's message is on message. The Defina has joined teams with Charles Dicksucker, following to get things straightened out. He'll be sure to decrease Charles Dicksucker's opponent's issue ratings in the state he's in by 5%. Ooh, where'd you go, Definer? Are you hiding behind my giant head? There you are. Can I send you to a different state? Oh, sweet. You're going to California. Help me out there. Oh, I'm way more known in California. Well, apparently I get someone there. So if we're going to send the political operative to Ohio, we need to start getting some bigger states. So let's see, what else should I do? I don't see any TV cameras because I want some interviews. I guess uh, giving a speech in Idaho is not going to do me a lot of good. We're going to fly to... I guess we're going to fly to Florida. Whee! <laughs> And let's give a speech in Florida about high gas. I did say I favor high gas prices in my set, so I'm going to have to give a speech on that. High uh, gas prices for all. I know this would make me popular, but you should all pay a lot for gas. Oh, my sport for a high gas price. I'm not sure if that was a good campaign move, but you know, I've got a role play. Ooh, I can win another endorsement. Oh, I can't. Apparently they go up. I can hire another operative. PR consultant. The media is a vicious institution that jumps on any unfavorable candidate's mistakes like lying on a well-cooked steak. Mm. The PR consultant lives and breathes damage control and media manipulation every day of Charles Dick Sucker's campaign. Well, let's get one of those. He'll help us with the media. Get some more bias for us in the media. And a fashion consultant. Oh, you will look delightful. Thank you. That's... Can we wear that? Is that like strapless? Let's see, the fact that every day is a chance for Charles Dick Sucker to wear something stunning, yes. To woo over the shallow voter demographic with stylish threads. Wow, just kind of crap on the, um, the voters there. So, everything looks good, we'll take another turn. Ooh, the... Oh man, Barack Obama got the, the, <laughs> the guns support people. That camera there means I can get an interview. So the first thing I'm going to do is, let's, uh, before I do that, let's get the business people behind us. Actually, we're going to get the national foreign policy. It'll help us with Homeland Security and the war on terror. Terror. Let's see, let's raise some funds here a quick second. Let's build a headquarters. Let's build a campaign headquarters so people know more about us. And then let's... Sorry. Uh, let's get... Uh... 
Let's get a smear merchant. Let's make the other opponent look bad because we're dick suckers. We don't have to be good. And we're going to send him to New York. Because we're really going to make a push for New York and California. And I'm going to fly to Michigan so I can be on TV. Would you like to appear on Barry King Live? I would like to appear on Barry King Live. Obviously, this is a parody of Larry King Live. And how you answer the questions will help you or hurt you with the voters. Tonight on Barry King Live, I may or may not forget who my guests are, resulting in upwards of 30 seconds of awkward silence. I love bagels and lox and cream cheese, and you can get the best at Saul's on the Lower East Side. I love baseball, especially the Brooklyn Dodgers. They moved, old man. I love this country as well, almost as much as I love suspenders, and I can see by the flag pin on your lapel that you love this country too. Where do you see America's place in the world? Do you, would you not like to see that on Larry King Live? Yes, dick sucker. Uh, we are the leader. Ooh, we're at the center of a dark empire? Oh, that's kind of cool. Hail Britannia! I thought I was running for Prime Minister of England. Um, we're gonna go with, I see the United States as the leading nation in the world community. We must use that leadership responsibility to make the world a better place. Because I'm Republican, and I'm a dick sucker. Oh, people like that. You know I like a spoonful of high corn fructose syrup every morning as it keeps my coat shiny? Wow. But there's a lot of talk that it may not be go good for people who aren't me. Subsidies make it cheaper to produce corn than is perfectly acceptable sh substitute sugar, so it's in everything? That makes no sense to me. Oh boy. Should I be pro-subsidies or anti-subsidies? I'm gonna be anti-subsidies. Suck that, farmers. It might ruin it. Government intervention in any workplace market is contrary to the values of treat free trade advocated by the USA, even though we've had subsidies for a long, long time. They also represent a burden on the taxpayer consumers. That's all the time we have for tonight. Thanks for joining the candidate and for joining us. See you next time on Barry King Live. Thanks for having me on, old man. Yeah, looking good. I'm sexy. Yeah. <laughs> well, Polls rise after appearance of Barry King Live. That's not all that rose. Dick Sucker Presses Nation. Oh, cool, the Detroit Free Press. Awesome. Go Motown. And I guess that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody.